Fort Campbell's Warrior Transition Battalion sponsored a Battleship Canoe Challenge recently as part of its adaptive reconditioning program. We had four soldiers per canoe and then um, the goal was to you know, swim around in the canoe without a paddle but using buckets and pumps to you know, keep the water out of your canoe and put the water in your uh, opponent's canoe. And as soon as uh, there was enough water in the canoe that it sank, then that, that team was eliminated. So it was the, uh, the last boat standing one. Adaptive reconditioning includes any physical activities that wounded, ill, and injured soldiers participate in to support their physical and emotional well-being. I signed up for it, wasn't real sure about it. Uh, it's the first event that I've actually done and it turned out to be really fun and it was a lot uh, more intensive than I thought it was going to be. It was a pretty good workout. I like it because it challenged me to do something out of my comfort zone and you realize that you have inner strengths uh, that you didn't weren't aware that they were there but you would never know if you don't step outside your comfort zone to find out new things about yourself. The event built on the Army's strength of unit cohesion and teamwork. The purpose of the Battleship Canoe was basically to bring soldiers together uh, using teamwork and uh, kind of create the sense of esprit de corps and camaraderie uh, amongst soldiers. It's, it's actually really good. Um, it, it beats sitting at home not doing anything or just going to medical appointments. It's a real good team building and you get to know everybody a lot better, more on a personal level. For Blanchfield Army Community Hospital, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I'm Maria Yeager.